streaming components in Next.js. What does this mean? Why is it useful? What problems does it solve? And how can you do it? So I'm going to start by showing you just an example of a poor user experience. So let's go ahead. I'm on our post page here. In this post page, it renders a sidebar, this header. It also renders this like posts component here, a comments component here, and then an albums component here below. Now, these three components, they all make network requests that I've purposefully slowed down a little bit, so it takes quite some time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to my home page and then we're just going to navigate back to the post page from our home page. And you can see after I hit enter there, there's like a fairly long delay. And then our streaming components page just kind of pops up. So let's do that one more time. I'm at our home page, navigating to posts, hit enter, sits here for a few seconds, and then it kind of just pops up with our streaming components page. The issue here is that I have these three components that make their network requests, and it doesn't really show the content of this page until all of those components are ready to go, where a better user experience might be to immediately navigate to our streaming components page and show the header and show the sidebar, and then progressively load our post component, our comments component, and our albums component. So the user still sees, okay, we navigated to this page, and then these components are still kind of loading in. Well, we can solve that issue with streaming. So effectively, what we can do is we can tell Next.js, hey, I want you to render all the other content in this page, except for these kind of three separate components. You can show a fallback component for those, until those components are ready to go, and then you can render them to the page. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to VS Code. This is our hosts page here, where we have our streaming components title. So it is our kind of this page that you see right here. And we have our three different sections. We have a post feed right here, a comments feed, and an albums feed. And if we look at these components, you can see that they make this fetch request and then return some data. Basically, all these components do the same thing, but I've just mainly added a delay to these to, so you can see this experience a little bit better to kind of mimic maybe a port network or maybe you're loading much more data than what I'm kind of loading here or something along those lines, a slower request. So the way that we can solve this is when rendering these components, we can wrap them with a suspense component. So I'm gonna comment these lines of code in here, like so. And now we've wrapped our post feed, our comments feed, and our albums feed with this suspense component that we imported from React, as you can see up top. Now, when you use a suspense component, you need to provide a fallback prop, and that's basically telling Next.js, like, hey, what do you want to show the user? when the wrapped component is still loading. So before this post feed is ready to go, what do I want to actually show the user? So in this case, we just kind of hard code a paragraph tag for all three of these that has loading posts, loading comments, lo loading albums. But maybe you create your own fallback component for a post feed and you create a post feed loading component and it's like a skeleton of your post feed or something like that. You've probably seen this when you go to YouTube and you have like a slow network and you just see like the square kind of pulsating outlines of the thumbnails of the videos. That's just showing like a skeleton until the content is ready. And I think that's a much better user experience rather than just not showing the page until it's ready or showing a page that is non-interactive. I think it's a little bit better experience to show something like a fallback component for these three specific components here. And effectively what this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of stream this page to our front end in chunks. It's gonna send all this kind of static content here first that's not wrapped in suspense, but it's gonna send this as a chunk, it's gonna stream this as a chunk, and stream this as a chunk. So we're effectively streaming these three separate components to improve our user experience and performance a little bit as if you can show content right away to the user, 
it tends to seem like that is beneficial when it comes to the user actually staying on that page, viewing the content and all that sort of thing. So now that this is in place, let's come back and let's kind of do the same thing. Let's go back to our homepage and then we'll come back to posts. And then what you see is we show this page immediately, but then we see latest posts, recent comments and top albums kind of progressively load as they go. And if I do a hard refresh here, you kind of see the same thing. You see, we show all this content here right away that will remain interactive, but we kind of progressively stream those three different components here. As you see, loading posts, loading comments, loading albums, those all kind of progressively stream to the page. And once they're ready to go, they show to the page. And I think this is a much better user experience compared to just having like very slow navigation or you know, if the user just comes to this page immediately, they're not going to see like a blank page at first. They're going to see all the content and then it's going to just progressively kind of load these components in. So if you run into an issue like this in Next.js and you have a kind of slow loading component, I think using a suspense boundary, importing that from React and then wrapping that around that component and then providing a fallback provides a much better user experience and it can also lead to better kind of business outcomes if you load the page first and you have you know a, a quicker contentful paint and that sort of thing and you know allow some of the page to be interactive before everything gets rendered in so hopefully that gives you a good idea of how streaming components works in xjs how suspense works why you might use it and kind of makes that whole process clear for you. So let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you in that next one.